Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I'm joined with quite a few people. We've got Eric here, a new face here, Austin, and my father, Dad. You've seen him before. <laughs> so we're back on Eric's claim. I haven't been out here for a while. Eric's found some new stuff out here, some exciting things. He's got some of uh, those uh, barite um, kind of grape clusters that you kind of see over at Yellow Cat that when you cut them open, you get this red and white agate. But out here, he's found yellow in them. So they've been pretty small though, so far you found. So we'll see if we can find any bigger ones. Plus there's all that beautiful wood, all those beautiful septarians, and who knows what else. We still want to see what else we can find out here. So wish us luck. Let's go see what we can find. So this first spot, all those little pieces you can see, it's a piece of what looks like kind of a crushed piece of petrified wood, all smashed down. And you got little bits of wood poking out here. It's a pretty area and a pretty day. Here's a nice piece of it. You can see how that's definitely wood. Very cool. So here's one of those chunks that he found that is barite. You can see a little bit of the barite crystals right in there. And you cut that open and see if you got any agate in the middle of it. This is small, so it probably won't be that great. So we're hoping to find some bigger ones. Here's this little one cut open. Has a little bit of red agate in the middle. Not a lot. No yellow. Oh well, we'll keep trying. This one looks kind of interesting. It's like a, kind of like a pebble, but almost like an agate. I don't know. I think I'll cut it just to see. So there's a piece of petrified wood just sticking in the wall. It's like a branch of one. So this is really interesting. See, it just looks like huh, a bunch of pebbles in clay or ash. But I picked it up and it's heavy. So there's going to be barite in there. And you might be able to see a few crystals of barite poking out through there. So I think I might take that home and cut it. Just in case there's agate in it. Here's that piece of conglomerate that I decided to bring back. And... Okay, it's conglomerate, but you do have a little bit of agate in it. Some red, a little bit of yellow over there. Okay, cool. This looks like it might be a bumpy one. I'm seeing a little bit of bear right there. So we'll take and cut that one open. Here is this bunch of barite cut open. Oh, huh. Okay, so we got the red kind of in patches. Yeah, no, not a lot of yellow. It's like it was trying to, but didn't quite get there. Okay, this looks like a bigger cluster. You can see how they have kind of those little nodular shapes, what they call grapes over at Yellow Cat. Yep, we'll take and cut that one. Here's this barite cluster cut open. Oh. Once again, a bunch of red patches all through it. Small patches. You can't see a lot in them, but they're agates. Interesting. Just found this down in the wash. Decided to come down a little bit to see if they were eroding out and then might be easier to see the little balls of barite. Uh, but I haven't really seen any yet, but this is a piece of wood that has come down. But I was just like, wow, look at the color in there. Maybe hold it up to the light a little bit, if I can. <laughs> huh. Here's a little piece of the wood that looks quite nice. It's got red and yellow in it. And some calcite right in the middle. Just found this. It's got some red and yellow agate. Right there. Hmm. I'm going to want to cut into that. There may be more inside of it. That could be really cool. Maybe we'll look for more things that look kind of like this. Here's the one that's got that nice red agate right there. And uh, just a few little veins here and there. Not much going through the rock. Looks like the best stuff was on the outside. And we're back in the area with the logs. There's a log sticking out. Pieces of it laying around. I see a log piece over there. Maybe you guys can spot that. And who knows? Let's go take a look. There it is, close up. 
It's a nice piece, isn't it? <laughs> nice big chunk. He's kind of neat. Just found that piece of red agate. That one looks really nice. We'll get it home and clean it off more and maybe get a better look at it. Well, this log fell down and broke into lots of pieces. <laughs> Probably was originally over there and these big rocks fell down and just smashed it. Well, looks like it's got some cool pockets right here. Looks like we got calcite crystals in there. And that looks like it might be a little bit of quartz druzy. <laughs> Very nice. Well, this log, while not terribly big, does have a nice surface to it. Nice texture on that. Cool. There's another log right there. One in. Boom. And then there's one right on top of it. That has mostly disappeared. <laughs> That's really cool, though. There's a nice big one sticking out. Now that one is pretty wide. You can see how squished it is and flat. That happens with, wait, <laughs> that's a pretty big one. I'd say from one side to the other, that's, that's a good five feet. Cool. And there's where he put his clay marker, Eric. <laughs> Here it is from a different vantage point. <laughs> Look at that petrified wood. Just a huge chunk. I wonder if it's the base of the tree. See how it's starting to like fan out? Yeah, this is probably the base of the tree. That would have been a pretty big tree. This is what I mean. Look at those colors in there. Look at that. Still need to clean that off a little better, but definitely seeing some more colors. Really cool. Let's take a look at some more of these other ones. Yeah, look at that. Definitely best looking wood I've seen up here at all. Look at all that. Look at that piece. It's got some cool patterns in it. Very nice. Look at that. That's pretty. Nice. Look what I just found in the log. A barrett crystal. Look at that. So we're up here in the uh, <laughs> septarians, and we started piling up some of there. Look at that big one I pulled off. It's a little blur on this, but you can kind of see it. I just pulled this out. Look at that. It's a terminated barite crystal, and it's loose. I can feel it about to fall off, but you can see some barites growing into a pocket, and it actually terminated. So confirmed, there are pockets up here that have barites that can terminate. Just pulled out that cluster of calcites. That'll be really nice. I'll have to get that cleaned off. But those are some good sized ones. So that's the biggest septarian I decided to keep. Got about a dozen or so in my dad's pack and we'll uh, go down and we'll take them home and cut them all open and see what's in them. So unfortunately, see I cut these septarians, but they shattered. They're just so heavily fractured, the ones on the surface. So it's unfortunate, but you can see how pretty they were inside in some of them. It's just too bad that they like to fracture. Okay, Eric, what did you find? Well, we got some petrified wood with a little bit of rutilated quartz on it. Look at that. Can you guys see the rutile in there? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but there's little fine crystals of rutile. I would not have thought you would find rutilated quartz up here. Nice find. There's this little barite cut open. You could already see some red agate on the outside, so you knew there'd be some in there. Just a little bit though. And a tiny bit of yellow orange down there. Here's this little barite ball cut open. Oh, tiny bit of red, tiny bit of yellow, uh, barely anything. <laughs> oh well, it is very small. Here's this barite cut open. Oh, it's just barite all the way through. Did not get any agate replacement. Huh. Well, that happens. Here's this one cut open. Broke a little bit. Okay, we got red and a tiny bit of yellow. So you can see how the yellow kind of forms in the center and the red 
on the outside. So I think the red formed first and the yellow came later. Here's this barite cluster cut open. Oh, this is a little better. Okay, this has a little bit more going on right there. Some agatization. Got a little bit of yellow going through there, mostly red and colorless. Still cool. And we made it back to the vehicle. Well, it was a great day. Let's take a look at everybody's finds here. Bucket full of stuff. There's our bucket. Some wood. Some more wood in buckets back there. And then <laughs> Austin volunteered to carry that huge septarian back. So that's his. He gets to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> you like the sphinx on top? I like your sphinx up there. Oh, yeah. So we had a good time and most of the stuff I don't even know what it looks like because we haven't cut it open yet. But you'll have already seen it and it's probably really cool. I'm excited. I can't wait. Kind of jealous. You've seen it and I haven't. Anyway, until next time, remember there is treasure everywhere.